Hey everybody and welcome to part 12 of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. Today we'll be going to China to take on the Panda King. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Sly Cooper in. Fire in the sky. Not a very good name for this mission. Alright, okay, here we go. A perilous ascent. Now we actually get to play. Let me guess, we're gonna stop right here. Nope. Baboons. We gotta deal with some baboons. And there's 30 bottles to deal with. Um, let's see. What? I want fast. I still think fast is probably one of the better abilities. Gotta collect all of the money so that way we can get some more protection. Because, you know, we don't want to run into any more creatures like the swamp goons. Yeah, we just smacked them off the cliff. Are you throwing. He's throwing monkeys down a hill. You are one ugly son of a bitch. Uh, don't say anything good here. Just move onward. Oh, checkpoint, and lots of snow. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Oh, seems like a legit reason to go and stop him. He just sounds like he's maniacal. The other guys kind of had more reason. Like, he was, this guy was just a poor guy who turned evil. I don't even know if you can actually, like, ah, uh, hit the snowball enemies and, you know, like, kill them or anything. It could still hurt you. You don't want that to happen. Ooh, a bridge. Lots of stuff going. Oh, wait, that's just the beginning of the level down there. We just did a major loop around. Woohoo! Gotta love our double jump ability. I'm assuming... Well, didn't realize we were going to be icicles up there, so... Yeah, we just lost our extra health, and oh, we had to go around this way. Okay. Okay, I guess there's some indicator to, like, where they're going to fall. Don't even look like they're from this game. That's the funny thing. Yikes. Oh great, more snowball rollers. Seems like we're fairly safe if we just stick like one direction. Yeah. Gotta collect more coins to get health again though. Don't see a lot for bottles around here. I don't think there's anything here at all. Fireworks. Ah, sweet, we get coins for hitting off all the fireworks. Fire in the hole! Now that opened up the gate. Oh, looks like we got the bouncy mechanic. Boing! Checkpoint! We gotta get this big burly guy to turn around. And hide behind those statues, though, if we need to. Luckily. Hey, looks like we have to go all the way around again. Hey, Donkey Kong, how you doing? What? Oh, come on. Game over. Try again. 
Seriously, game over? Oh my god, do we have to do it over? We have to do the entire level over. Wait, do I have the bottles here? Oh yeah, yeah, so we just have to run all the way back. Cause game over just ruins your checkpoints. That's all that happens. You stop sending out the snowball guys if you're close. Well, that's good to know. Stop getting stuck. And luckily we don't have to watch any of the cutscenes over. It's kind of a hassle that we have to backtrack all that way now. I do prefer this world over the swamp world. I just feel like world 1 and world 2 are too similar in style. You know, having like a swamp and then having like a, a weird swampy island. Can't even tell which spot breaks. If they just break. Alright. Okay, that's where the icicle forms. That icicle forms there too, and we're good. And apparently that checkpoint's already activated for some reason. Just make sure to avoid the death sickles. Yeah. Hopefully we can get back to that other checkpoint. I believe there was another checkpoint, or was this the most recent one we had gotten? I don't even know. Collect everything. Because I want to try and get some extra health again. So we're going to need to destroy everything that we can. Then, too, we can also get extra lives via that way. Ow, you'd think that would have killed me, because it literally landed right on my head. Well, thank you for the extra one up. I okay, got there was a checkpoint here. Okay, now let's take down this fool. Okay. Don't want to run into this guy. They look so cute, too. They don't look like they'd be, like, these villains or anything. You're going such a cute little ape man. But I'm actually a maniacal evil mastermind. Actually, are they monkeys or are they bears? Because a panda's a bear. Okay, this spot looks a little annoying. So you gotta go in between the lights. Hey, let's see if there's any bottles over this way. Kill them all! Apparently, it gets stuck going up the slope. There we go, there's some extra health. What does that do? That opens up that. It opens up that. But that's the vault. Why do I only have 11? Seems like I should have a lot more at this point. I really feel like we should have a lot more. And that just opens up that. Um, okay, I'm like, come on, screen, do you have to do that? Wait. Why is there a checkpoint here? Is that... You can't get through the security gate without one of the Panda King's treasure keys. There's one over there, but it's heavily guarded. One key, coming up. Oh, I see how this is gonna be. That's why there's a point over here and a checkpoint over there. Boink. Boink. For some reason, they can only see you when you're in their light, though, so... Good thing. That's how this game works. Oh, come on, man, really? Stupid ape men. There we go, let's grab the key. Yeah! Key! Okay, I'm like, it better not end the level, but I'm like... Oh, come on! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do these guys just, like, infinitely spawn? That could be it, too. There we go. Perfect. 
We killed every single one of them. Another bottle. We still need five more bottles, though. Hmm. Let's see. Where could things be? Where? Oh, there's a bottle right there. Just don't want to go through the door or anything like that because we don't want to trigger anything. That's where all the lights were, right? Wait, hang on. There's this. That just leads two more. I have a feeling there's another one of those around here somewhere. So, man, this level's a lot longer than I was anticipating. Normally, levels aren't ten minutes, but really this level is. Okay, nothing here. Okay, so I'm assuming we missed something back towards... I don't know, whatever way. Could be any way. We're just missing two, though. Right, again, this is the bouncy spot. Okay, just gotta look around for bottles. Bottle, bottle, bottles. Wait. Okay, I thought maybe that was like a cliff you could fall down or something. It doesn't look like it. Looks like death snow. Because apparently snow always means death. Great. Icicles. Well, we died. Now, where could. Where, where could these bottles be? And why do they all have to spawn back? Oh no, why does he have to circle this one? Why do you have to circle this one as well? Oh there, we made it through there at least. And that is just the exit, so I know there's no bottles there. Anything here? Why were there more uh, coins here, though? Like, that's what I don't understand is why there were coins. Okay, maybe nothing here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here that we're missing. So then maybe... God, I really hope I don't have to backtrack all the way back to the beginning. Cause that just seems like a nuisance. Hey, let's go all the way back. Again. Um, yeah. Oh god, this angle's even worse. Okay, I think we made it. Well, at least this part we made it through. Can I just, like, break this down? Like, you gotta wait for the camera angle to just to loop around. Woo! So where are some of the coins just respawn? Oh, come on! I don't know, I really think we'll have to just come back for it. I'll just come back for it later on. Wait a minute. Now we found them! You guys are probably just laughing. They gave us there the entire time. Hey, <laughs> right, let's go and get whatever ability this is. Press the circle to enter the vault. Why is it blacked out? I got a real headache figuring this one out. Input 578. 578. Okay. 5, 7, and 8. Let's see what ability we get. What is it? This just gets better and better. Sly Tukukam and Approves. I'd always heard one of your southern ancestors, Huckleberry Cooper, developed a technique Complete to darkness. move while staying invisible. Hold down the circle button to turn invisible, then move around with the left analog stick. Ooh, turning invisible will be helpful. 
I like how Sly has breath, though. Oh, you just don't move very fast. Like, you move extremely slow. And you can't use your run ability either, so... Bummer. And in we go to whatever whatever this level may be. Inside the stronghold. I'm assuming Bentley's gonna give us this little spiel on what to do here once we get up. God, this just seems annoying. Can you What? Sly! We were holding down circle for a reason. That was just Sly being stupid now. Okay, it works that time. Dude, how do you not see me, though? Like, seriously, I'm not even trying to be sneaky. How do we get out? Oh, there's a hook. Ah. Nice job breaking into the Pan of Kings compound. I think I figured out a way to get to the top of that giant statue. But unfortunately, it's obstructed by this reinforced ceiling hatch. No problem. They seem to have plenty of firepower around here. I'll just have to find a few more treasure keys to get at it. Oh yeah, typical. Starting off, we have this level over here. The Unseen Foe. So I guess we'll be doing the Unseen Foe in this level. What do we got going on here? Run, let me guess. We're gonna stop right out here? No. 30 bottles. Okay, this level doesn't seem like it's gonna have as many... Or this world's not gonna have as many bottles as others. Oh, and these aren't like evil carpets or anything like that? This looks like a good place to try out your new invisibility move. Hold down the circle button to drop out of sight. Oh, you mean because it's on a conveyor belt. Not lasers, not searchlights, not guards. Oh, and if the guards already see you, then the invisibility trick won't work on them. Well, obviously, because they know where you are, even if you do go invisible. So you just gotta keep doing this until you get to the guy. That almost didn't work out, but it did. Thank heavens. Oh, you can only do it while on the ground, and there's some... Oh my god, I'm in such a bad spot to do this. Just gotta move over this way a little more. We need to figure out how to get behind that ape. Uh, don't think we can get to it from that, this way. So many vases, so many priceless artifacts. We get to destroy them all, whoa. Oh, that's what it does, okay. Whoa. Ah, sneaky. And we destroyed it, perfect. Okay, so nothing left here. Ah, oh, we gotta do this again, except this time... There are fireworks instead of just fire. Oh. Oh. That's one way down. Good thing it's not like that one swamp level where backtracking was just absolutely painful. You know, because there was like no way back up or anything like that. This here we have ways back up. Uh, what do we got going on here? God damn it. Yeah, while you're gloating, I'll just kill you. I don't know why I had to gloat, dude. You saved me some time, though, in killing you. <laughs> All this money. I believe in other games, though, to get upgrades and stuff, you have to buy mo or have to uh, get coins to buy upgrades. Not like this game where you just find everything, which is so much easier. Getting a platinum on this game, as long as you find all the collectibles, is fairly easy. Let's go down that way, right? I assume so. Woohoo! Destroy all the lanterns because we don't care about Chinese culture. Oh, there's the key. But we still need 16 more. Oh, wait. You're just a normal enemy. Okay, never mind. The heck are you? 
Oh, they can go invisible. I didn't know you guys could go invisible as well. That's kind of cool. Um, hmm. Oh, looks like we have to go up into the tree. Wait. Oh, I know why it's called the Unseen Foes, because of our invisibility. It's kind of cool. Hey, don't get what they honestly do. Whoa. I'm gonna have to jump down. From up above. Ha ha ha! Aerial strike. Let's see, what do we got going on up here? Oh. Hang on. Gotta get some bottles on these trees. Woo! Don't have to do all the backtracking either because we cheated and jumped on a little bush. Okay, make sure we can go across. Now what's up here? How many more bottles can we find up here? There's lots going around the building, so... Ah, maybe we'll backtrack. Kinda hope we do, because I want those. Whoa. Uh. And there we go. Hey, another bottle. Oh, missed one. Perfect. Ah, oh, one of these hook conveyor belts. Wasn't this where the bottles were? At least two of them. At least one more. Hopefully we didn't miss it. Really hope we didn't. Wait, wait, if there's lasers in there, why, why can we go up top? Oh wait, there's the vault. Wait, there it is. There we go. Now we can activate the vault. Dude. To enter the vault code. Thank you. It was a challenge, but this vault's combination has got to be 667. Six, oh, I thought I was going to say 666. Six, six. That just that just be terrible. Dude. Let's see what it is. And it is Spike I never would have thought this was possible. Sir Augustine of Cooper's technique to briefly defy gravity. From now on, you should be able to pop right out of those bottomless pits you keep falling into. And you won't even lose a lucky charm. Oh, so now we don't take any fall damage whatsoever. Well, now water and bottomless pits are, are useless against us. So now we have to go through here. Fly, this pagoda is some kind of huge gunpowder production plan. Judging yeah, by go the figure. scale, the Panda King must be making tons of explosives. And there we go, there's our key. Goodbye, Panda King. So anyways, that does it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll continue to infiltrate the Panda King's Domain. See you guys next time.